dot t. So that is minus omega q naught sine of omega t, right? And those, so the current density, so that's the vector, right? Not in what direction is that go? Current changes only along the antenna in the z direction here. So that goes in the z direction. So in principle, so we have this minus omega q naught sine omega of t the time over r. But now, so we post the z direction and integrate over z here. Right? And now the nice thing is, with integrating over z, we already have a term that goes to first order in, in the small distance. Right? So whatever next order terms with d come in there, will go at second order in d squared and then we we'll it. So we can very simply replace this integration by just multiplying d into it. So this gives us the first order just mu naught minus mu naught d q naught omega over four pi r Sense direction. Now let's do one more thing. Introduce the dipole moment P, dipole moment. What is the definition of P? Or what is P in this case? It's the definition of a dipole. General definition P S of P is essentially charge <coughs> times displacement. So most generally you can write this as rho of R R prime R prime, right? But here we can say we have a charge plus Q up here, minus Q up here. So it's really just QD in the same direction, right? So we define the amplitude. This, of course, oscillates along with the charge. So the amplitude of P is just Q naught. So let's. Like this, and then all the way here, and go from there. So, our end result. C. 
see that it's not T naught. Everything right now. And we have our vector potentials and this radiation approximation as u naught p naught over this one score. And there's still an minus sign from the minus. Let's 
do that? How do we calculate the electric field and the magnetic field? That's one thing everybody needs to remember for whatever exam. Electric field is everybody got it this year? Electric field is something, magnetic field is something. How do you calculate the electric field?
can very simplify a little bit for this 1 over epsilon naught c squared. Because we get a new naught term here from the A from the second function. 1 over epsilon naught c squared. Okay, now the A over the T. T is time derivative of this. Just gives us turns the sine to a cosine, we get it all in out. So that gives us squared over 4 pi, then we have 1 over r, then we have the so that we have a sign, and then we have a cosine theta, Thank you. 
Schwert zu kommen, die. Somewhere there's a 
other problem to figure out where the minus sign is supposed to be. So, hope it says there's a minus sign here. I don't quite see it right now. Maybe it has a minus sign. I'm actually not sure. Now, of course, this, you know, there's a plus, plus, there's a plus. There's a minus, there's a minus. What's that thing called? There's a minus and a plus. Sign gives us. So I don't, don't see where there would be a minus sign here, so it should actually be plus as I see. Alright, good. So that means the magnetic fields, the phi direction is what, what goes around here. So the magnetic fields are going in and out of the board. You can actually verify. If you look at this, recall what was the electric field. And radiation was just writing down what was there minus mu naught p naught omega squared over four minus